So here's the project truck. Just getting started on it. Don't really have have any real definite plans. Just going to see what we can do. Have a bit of fun. It's a 1953 International R130 truck. So it's classified as a one ton. It's got the uh, International Silver Diamond 220 engine in it. On the inside, please excuse the red crazy carpets. I just put them in there to shield the sun from coming in. But the inside looks looks pretty decent. When I originally got it, it was full, full of most most nests, most turds. Oh, needed a gas mask to get into the truck. So we did the, the door liner there, reupholstered the the seat just so we could clean it up and get inside. It's got can't really read the numbers too well, 87,000 or something mileage on it. And yeah, so inside looks pretty good. I have no idea what that does, but it looks really cool. Got her in neutral, but when I first got it, couldn't turn the engine at all. Totally wouldn't move. So I did what most people would do. I pulled the spark plugs out, poured in some WD-40 and some uh, diesel fuel, let it sit and tried to turn it over every once in a while by hand. And the other day I got it to turn over, but it'll only turn over 180 degrees. It will not go a full revolution and so I'm wondering what is causing that so I thought oh maybe I got sticky valves or something's rusted up and dirty inside that's got to be causing it so I unloosened these bolts here on the valve cover and they loosened up real easily and I was just going to spray some lubricant in the holes there to lubricate things but I just bumped the valve cover and it was loose so off it comes and I don't think it looks too bad in here there was no rust at all it looks good pretty dirty like use some greasy old oil in there but it doesn't look rusted at all so I thought that was good but still if I put a bar on the front I can turn it but I can only turn it 180 degrees so what is causing that. You can see the, the valves moving up and down. Are some of the pistons stuck? Is it hydrolock from pouring oil and diesel fuel into the spark plugs? I don't know. So maybe some of you guys who actually know stuff about engines can let me know what you think. Most of the engines here, it's a six volt system. Um, not much less left of where the the battery goes we can rebuild that that's no problem this engine was last run in 1983 where it was parked in the shelter belt of the, the farm and left there some two-legged rats did get in here at some point and scratched around like they tend to do and they they just took most of the spark plug wires and removed all of the coolant hoses um, for whatever reason but other than that it all seems to be here. So I just gotta figure out, is this engine gonna be able to be saved? Can it run? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Other than that, I think it's gonna be a pretty cool truck. It does have split rims on it from what I understand, 
which most tire shops do not want to work on. So I'll have to check into that. Although I did inflate these tires last fall and they're, they're still holding air, which is crazy. Anyways, that's my truck. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what's causing that engine not to turn over all the way. I can only turn it 180 degrees before she stops. And yeah, let me know what you think.